What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, we are reviewing something that I have gotten thousands and thousands of requests and that is the Lady Gaga House Laboratories makeup line. Now listen, a lot of the little monsters were coming for me in July because this product went up for pre-order and now we are in September and it's finally out in the public, it's out there in the world. So today we are going to be reviewing House Laboratories and all the products that were sent to me. Now this um, package of course did come in PR and there is a bunch of stuff in here that we will dive into in a second. Of course we're gonna review it all and see what the real tea is. If you are new to my channel or you are a new viewer, hi, how are ya? My name is Jeffrey. I have been a makeup artist since I was 12 years old. I am a beauty junkie, I have been a makeup consumer forever, and I am very non-biased on this channel. There's a few things you cannot do to Jeffree Star. You can't buy a review. You can't pay me to say that your product's great. You can't convince me otherwise to try to act a certain way. And this channel, there's no competition, there's no bias, this is just me reviewing the products, the packaging, the formula, the price, everything. So we are going to give you the truth about Lady Gaga's makeup line. It's been a crazy week here. I'm sure most of you have met Jeff Dolan by now. Hey, what's up, bud? Now, if you haven't, you have to check that out. But I did a crazy transformation this week. I'm also currently here in my Grand Rapids house here in beautiful Michigan. Um, I did miss Lady Gaga's launch party for House Labs. Um, I'm so sorry I missed everyone there, but the party looked beautiful. As well as switching lives with the Dolan twins, I also did a crazy meet and greet at an Ulta here um, in Michigan. And we're just spreading the love because Grand Rapids is sometimes forgotten, but hi makeup world, we're right here. Okay guys, quick heads up. I am here in my house, so you may hear a lot of dogs screaming, you may hear um, the weather, the weather is crazy here in Michigan. Um, and we also got a new addition to our family that you may hear on the ground or in the background. No, it's not a Pomeranian. We will introduce him in the future. <laughs> okay you guys, so enough is enough. Let's get to the review. All right, now I've been dying to see this stuff in person, but we do need to do a quick backstory because a lot of people were coming for me when I tweeted about this in July. Lady Gaga, iconic singer, songwriter, actress, Grammys, Oscars, the whole works. Like, bitch, she, she's lived an amazing life. But I do have a few little things that I have been wondering about. Now listen, Lady Gaga did partner exclusively with Amazon Prime for this release. I'm like, uh, okay, Amazon, listen, the whole world uses Amazon. It's kind of like McDonald's, it's a little like, everyone's using it, right? Everyone's buying it, there's a lot of cheaper things on here. So when I heard that Gaga, Miss Icon, was partnering with Amazon Prime, I was kind of like, mm, okay, interesting. Now the price points are pretty normal, very like Sephora um, price points, like $18 glasses, um, there's lip kits, there's eyeliner, so price point, pretty good for her. But the thing that was a little weird for me is that they announced it in July, there was so much hype, makeup ads came out, um, product reveals, packaging, and then it was like pre-order, and the whole world was kind of like, hello, we want it right now. Now listen. You're rich, baby. Your net worth is crazy. So I always look at it as like, why was there a pre-order? Why did we have to wait for the products? I thought it should be available right then and there. Um, but we're here now, the time's over. So if you hated waiting for it like me, it's out now. A few other little tidbits, you guys. Remember, Lady Gaga released a perfume called Fame all the way back in 2012. So I was kind of wondering like, why did Gaga wait now to create a beauty line. Is it because a lot of celebrities are doing it now? The beauty industry is really hot, it's very trendy. Of course, we have Rihanna who came in with Fenty and really just slayed the game. We've had other celebrities try to enter the makeup world like JLo did a collab with Inglot. Crickets, no one cared. Um, other celebrities have done collabs that people haven't really cared about this year. And then I also remembered that Lady Gaga and Cyndi Lauper did a Viva Glam MAC Cosmetics collaboration all the way back in 2010. And then she did a second one by herself. It was like a Toby Brown lipstick and gloss. Of course, that was all for charity. But I remember her doing that back in the day. But nine years ago, I'm like, well, how come Gaga never did a makeup line when she was like at the height of her like amazing, weird pop star moment, right? But here we are now, and it's time to review these products. So what are her intentions? I don't know, you'd have to ask her herself. 
But um, I'm here to review everything and then let's see if it really works. Okay, so let's dive in. Here is that PR package. There's a few items in here, so let's dive in. Now, right off the bat, there is this stuff that is called um, face lace. We have seen Gaga wear this in person. We saw her wear it at, I think, the party. So I definitely will have to try this um, out at the end. So we'll save that. It does come with this little plastic makeup bag, which has like confetti in it. And only thing about the bag is that it doesn't hold a lot, but there's also not a lot of products released. There's only a few. So maybe it's just to get your little starter kit going. It's a little clutch. You can take it when you're traveling. I'm not sure, but it came with that. There's only four products in here. I think we're gonna start pulling them out right now. We have the House Laboratories, what is this? The Le Riot Gloss. So there is a Ultra Shine Lip Gloss that we're going to try today. Oh wow, there's like six shades. Okay, that's amazing. Shade names are pretty cute. Scream, Attitude, Venus, Corset, Entranced, and Blaze. I love blazing. Now, besides that, we also have a, ooh, what is this? Ooh, this is a shade called Rose Bitch. I love that. Now, this product is called the Glam Attack All Over Liquid Shimmer Powder. Okay, maybe it's like a liquid eyeshadow powder. We will definitely investigate that in a second. So we have that, and then we also have liquid eyeliner. There's, I think, two formulas here, and then there's also lip liner. So we're gonna try out everything today. Let's dive into it also. Before we even really dive in, I want to pull up all the prices. I did tweet, should I review this? And I'm going to throw up a few tweets. Some of them were a little crazy. And I know y'all little monsters are going to come for me. But a few people were like, um, Jeffrey, I have zero interest in Gaga's makeup. It doesn't feel genuine. It's honestly a cash grab to get a slice of the billions of dollars in this industry. Of course, that's everyone's opinion. Do I think that? I don't know. I, I just kind of feel it's a little weird to wait this long to come out with a beauty line. All right, also, Ashley said yes on the video. To be honest, as of now, the products are boring. When I hear Lady Gaga, I think over the top and dramatic, so I need to know if the products are good. Okay, let's open up everything else. Now, I look a little ghastly right now. I would love a lip on. I always do eyes first, but let's change it up, bitch. It's 2019. All right, let's start off with the lip liners. Now, these are called the, uh, is it RIP or, yeah. RIP lip liners. The Demi Matte Lip Liner, of course, this has 0.04 ounces in it, and a lip liner is $16, which is pretty normal. Um, also, on Amazon, you can also get lip kits together where it's like an eyeshadow, gloss, and a liner, and that is $50 for a little kit. Um, very Kylie. <laughs> um, okay, so let's open this up and let's give it a whirl. I don't even know what this looks like yet. I've seen the glosses online, but I haven't seen this. Ooh, okay, so this is of course a standard wooden pencil, very much like MAC, it has their little type of like, I'm gonna see, so I'm gonna say that this is like their shape that they're using for all their packaging. So of course you take it off, standard pencil. I'm just, I wanna see how this feels right now. Should we put, do a little punch in, Zach? So the lip liner is going on really nice. It feels soft, it doesn't feel weird, it's not dragging, so I definitely can't wait to put this on my mouth. Now this shade is drag, hi drag. There's actually four more shades, so I was just swatching a few. We have Rule and Ride. Rule is right here, it's like a dark chestnut brown. And then we have Ride right here, which is kind of like a terracotta, orangey nude. It looks really pretty. And there's one more called Myth. Myth is actually one of my favorite, I keep saying MAC, but Myth is a really cool MAC um, lipstick, okay. So let's put this color right here. Ooh, okay, it's a more like warmer toned brown versus this one. They're all really pretty. I don't know which one I wanna use yet. I kinda wanna go with the darker one because I've been wearing a lot of nude lipsticks lately. Let's apply this and then we're going to put a gloss over it. Um, I'm a little shocked that there's not actual lipsticks. Like, hello, I'm sure they're coming soon. But I picture like when Lady Gaga was gonna release a makeup line, I pictured like a full line like Rihanna, like she was gonna hit us with a whammy. But I'm sure there is a lot of stuff coming. So before we even apply the lip liner, let's dive into the lip glosses. They are $18, they are called the Le Riot Lip Gloss. Let's open one up. And the packaging looks like this, very consistent with the lip liners. Everything kind of has this um, custom packaging that goes into this little point. Do I live for the packaging? It's all right. It really reminds me of like NYX, MAC. Um, I just wanted more. I do like the shapes. I like the uh, little moment here. I like how it looks in here. But overall, I wasn't like mind blown by it. But the formula, of course, is what really matters. So if you are not a packaging whore and you want to see what's inside, that's what we're about to find out. So the lip glosses have, let's see here, about five or six shades. 
And there is a whole array, so let me unbox them. I, I just wanna swatch one. Let's see what happens first of all. So when I pulled it out, it did get a little on the packaging. I personally don't mind, you guys know I'm very honest. Hi, it's makeup, wipe it off. All right, let's do a little swatch. Here, first of all, is what the applicator looks like. Now, I'm assuming this curve is for the contour of your lips, so it just places the product on your mouth. Now, are they sheer, are they, what are they supposed to be? Let's read the box. Okay, there's, there was really nothing on the, glo uh, the box. It just says, a comfortable gel gloss that will easily glide onto your lips without a sticky feeling, leaving them looking smooth and full. All right, I wanna see what this looks like on my hand, first of all. Ooh, okay. It's actually a really pretty shade. You know, I love a nude gloss. <sighs> there's really like no fragrance. I don't think there's a fragrance. Will we see if I'm high on bath salts? Because I don't, <laughs> I swear there's no fragrance. So if you uh, hate fragrances, this may be great for you because there's literally none. I wanna put on this lip liner. I love this shade. This is drag. And let's apply it and see what the hell happens. Also, if you're wondering like Jeffrey, what is this crazy chrome mirror? These will actually be out this Saturday. Hi! All right, of course you guys know my lips have foundation over them. There is a little bit of highlighter, so I'm gonna take this and go right over it. All right, first impressions, it's gliding on really nicely. It's not getting weird. Let's keep going. All right, now it's applying really nicely. Since there is no matching lipstick, I am gonna apply a little bit more in the center and put a gloss over it. I like this color, it's like a weird muted mauve purple. First impressions, pencil went on flawlessly. Now, there are six lip glosses here, hello. So let's pick a shade that will match this color. Ooh, ooh, this one may be really pretty. Let's try her. This one is called Blaze. All right, no fragrance for this one either. Let's apply. Now, see how the wand is? I'm not sure if it should be this way, so we'll do the bottom lip this way. Ah. Okay, so it isn't like a full pigment gloss, but it does have some color. Um, definitely made those two gel together really good. Let's dip in one more time. Okay, then we'll flip the applicator. Mm. Okay, now I love to do a little bit more just because that's just the type of hoe that I am. Ooh, looking in this mirror right here, it, it looks really pretty. Now. There's no stickiness, just like they said, thank God. And it feels really nice, like, it's very comfortable, it definitely is not sticky, it doesn't feel tacky, and especially putting it over another product, you never know what the hell is gonna happen. And it actually feels really good. So we will keep this on during the entire review, and let's see how the bitch wears. Okay, before we move on, I do wanna swatch a few more of these glosses because some of the colors look really pretty. Like this one, really pretty berry, and it has glitter, like a reflex in there. If we zoom in in a second, I'll show you guys that. That looks so pretty. And then this is another glitter one called Enchanted. Hi. Oh, I love the glitter in that one. That one is stunning. So there's definitely a variety. I like the glitter uh, moments in there. And then there is four more nudes. Obviously, I'm wearing one. And then we have Attitude, let's see her. Ooh, another one with shimmer. Okay, cute. So there's three shimmer and three normal glosses. All right, actually all the colors are really pretty and very wearable. All right, let's move on to the next product. I'm really excited because my eyes look very basic right now. Okay, we are going to dive in into the House Laboratories Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powder. This is allegedly a liquid eyeshadow. Now, the packaging does look like this, very similar, of course, to the other stuff. There are six shades, they are $20 each, and it says, a highly pigmented, long-wearing liquid eyeshadow that amplifies any look. It's blendable, buildable, liquid and powder formula offers serious color payoff and a shade shifting shimmer, bringing you depth, dimension, highlight, or intensity to any look. It's supposed to be fallout free, smear proof, multi-dimensional, and it lasts all day. Okay, and now it says, shake well to activate, to use as an eyeshadow, apply directly to the eye area, controlling the intensity by adding more layers or shearing it out. Apply to other areas of the face if you want to amp up the overall color, adding layers to transform the finish. Okay, we know what a liquid eyeshadow does. Let's get to it. Okay, now I literally saw someone wearing this black one this morning and blending it out and it looked so pretty. So this is shade Chained Ballerina. Ooh, I like that, okay. 
Now, here's what it looks like. Let's open her up. Ooh, okay, I like the applicator. It is, um, has a more of a slant right there, so you can put it right directly on the lid. Now, I, of course, only have foundation and concealer on my eyelids. I'm dying to just go in. I think we should just literally, bam, blend it, and let's see what happens. So I'm going to grab some eyeshadow brushes, and we're gonna see what the hell the tea is right now. All right, so I'm gonna take one layer, and I'm just gonna apply this. Oh my god! Okay, that has some pigment. Holy shit. Like, am I supposed to not put that much on? I mean, this looks sick. Okay, let me just do a little, like, voila. Whoa, I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was gonna be, like, sheer. Oh, no, 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 honey. Okay, so before it dries, I wanna take this brush, and I just wanna see what happens when I blend out. This is, like, the easiest way to do a smoky eye, and I have no other makeup on. I could have done a little bit in my, uh, crease, but I just wanted to test this out all by itself. Now when I'm blending the edges, it's buffing the color up and it looks really pretty. Let me see here. Oh wow, the shimmer in there is nice. Now this is a natural haired brush. You can definitely use synthetic and it would absorb no product, but I love using this sometimes because it just really softens the edges. Like right off the bat, that was the easiest like coverage I've ever seen. Like hello there. We all know other brands have liquid eyeshadows. We've seen the Stila ones, we've seen the Milani ones, but having like a full, like pigmented one like this is really cool. Whoa, okay Gaga, work. This product is actually really great because as it starts to dry, you can take the brush and you can really manipulate the product. You can make it softer. Like I didn't even use a gray transition color and I'm just slowly just kind of buffing it up and it's really nice. So if you want an instant smoky eye without all the blending, laying down a black base, putting down three different color eyeshadows, like this is like, whoa. It was very just like, bam. And I love the shimmer on the lid. Okay, we obviously need to try more. There's other colors here. We have a whole other eye, we have an under eye. Bitch, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna go in with JS8, which is a synthetic brush, of course. So let's apply this to the lid really quickly. Ooh. Color. Whoa! Here we go. Oh my god. Okay, I'll do the same thing I did on the other side. Just kind of like lay it down and then we'll, we'll blend. Whoa, the green looks so cool. Shit. Okay. Okay, I did get a little bit under here, which I don't mind. I'm just gonna take the brush and just kind of go in because we are gonna try eyeliner in a second. But using the synthetic brush, I don't mind it at all. I think almost I like the other one better. Regardless, they look cool. So let's just buff and blend this up a little bit, just like the other side. Now it did say you can layer for added intensity. So let's add a little bit more and let's see what upping the intensity is going to do for us. Okay, that blended really easy. I like the second layer. I think it added a little bit more pop. What do you think, Zach, from far away? Yeah, I actually really like those. Whoa, come on green. Okay, there's a lighter shades that I really wanna dive into just for a, a little bit of fun. There's one that I think could actually be used as a highlighter, I'm not kidding. Okay, this one is called Aphrodite. Okay, now I'm just gonna put this on my hand. Let's just see what this looks like. Ooh, you see that, you guys? It may be a little too dark for a highlighter, but it could be really pretty. So you don't, of course, have to use the applicator and put it on the eye, you could really, Use your finger. So I'm gonna try that right now. Hi, let's use our hands. Let's just take a little bit of the product right here. And I'm just gonna place it like, maybe like right here. Whoa, I love the shimmer in that. Hello, highlight. Let's take a little bit more. You can't really take away with these products, but you could always add more. So don't go haywire where you're like, hello. Just reel it in and just do light layers. Yeah, you could definitely use this as like a liquid highlighter for sure. There's another one that's pure gold, and this one is called Legend. Oh, it's like bitch gold, like good morning gold. This one almost looks like a little bit more sheer than the other ones. When you kind of lay it out, kind of, maybe not. Oh wow, that's gold, gold, huh? I kind of want to put some like right here. So I'm just gonna take it with the applicator here, we'll do a little dunk. How do we feel about green and gold? Let's just do a little here for a laugh. Yeah, that color is really pretty. I literally just want to put it there just for a little bit of an accent. Just a little pop of a color. I did a little bit less over here, so let me add a little bit more and balance that out. 
I didn't expect to really be able to like do a whole eye look with these. I thought like I would definitely have to lay down an eyeshadow, but you really don't, which is kind of shocking. Okay, there's a few other colors here. I think that they're very like they're neutrals. They're pretty. Ooh, there's a gray one too. Hi, gray. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta look at biker for a second. Whoa, look at that. That is like gray, gray. Can you layer these? It didn't say you couldn't. So let's try a little bit of the gray in the center. Oh, whoa. That one over the pure black is like, oof, it's like wet metal. All right, you guys, I'm actually feeling really good about the eyes. I really didn't know what to expect and bitch was not playing games. So now it's time to dive into the eyeliner. Now this product, um, it's called the Eye Liner. It is a black felt liquid eyeliner. It's retailed at $20. And this has 0.03 fluid ounces in it. I mean, we need to see what this eyeliner looks like, you guys. So, of course, when you take it out of the packaging, it does look like this. What's the tip look like? Ooh, okay, it is a very standard felt tip. Definitely reminds me of, what do we think here, you guys? Like a Tom Ford moment or something like that. So, what, are, what is this supposed to do? Let's click right now. I always take an eyeliner and I, I like to test it on my hand. Let's see, does it bleed? Does it get weird? How does the lines work? Do you have to shake it? It's black. It's long wearing, it's a quick dry formula. It um, lets you mirror Lady Gaga's signature um, wing or add precise definition to your eyes with its silky, skip-free formula. Which, yeah, it was skip-free. I hate when you like have a liquid eyeliner and you start to do it and then it like kind of gets like sheared out and you're like, girl, you gotta shake it, you gotta try going over it again, again, and again. So that is really cool. It says, store the liner upside down for optimal ink flow. Lightly stamp the liner onto your upper lash line. You can create a base for a wing liner. You can draw and just have fun. So let's see what this looks like on the eye. Okay, I've used a lot of liquid eyeliners in my day. And this one is really good because it really isn't skipping at all. It's staying fully pigmented. I'm not having to shake it. I'm just using it over and over and over. And it's like, it's doing its thing. All right, I did a cute little wing and the formula is really good. I obviously had no idea what kind of eyeliner was gonna come out of that tip. But um, it's really good. Now, I have seen Lady Gaga's makeup artist, Miss Sarah, hi Sarah, do some like moments on Gaga. Like girl, I think even for the launch party, like winged out to Jesus. I love that. Literally, I was about to do that. But I do have to go visit Nate's grandma later, so we need to relax. But I live for a lot of the makeup looks that she's done. It's almost kind of like unconventional, like when you think of beauty ads for makeup. I know a lot of people were talking about the ads. A lot of people live for them. Some people weren't sure. Um, I think it's cool. It's different. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love that she's just real and raw. Some people are like, girl, she should have airbrushed everything to fill. Why? I like how real it is. It's like, bitch, this is my skin. And? Um, I'm not saying that there's no retouching on this at all, but I like the different, more like punk rock feel. It definitely stands out in this uh, very cluttered beauty community. Okay, I wanna do a little bit more with the wing liner. I also wanna add some mascara. Um, when's the House Laboratories mascara coming? But for now, we're gonna go in with the Tom Ford Badass because I do need a little lift, if you will. So, be right back. All right, popped on some mascara and loving how the eyes are looking. I definitely think we need something going on over here. We have this side going up. Maybe we go down a little bit. I know we're, there is the face lace. So before we even do this, let's see what these look like. Now these, I know Gaga lives and loves for these. These are also in collaboration with Phyllis Cohen. Let's open this up. Ooh, oh wow. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Okay, what are the instructions? Let's see what the hell is going on over here. All right, so it says, face armor is best used on clean skin. I have so much foundation on. Can you, I mean, she's worn over foundation, right? She has to have. Peel off slowly and keep armor flat to prevent design from sticking to itself. Okay, so once it's on, it says to remove, pull gently and grab as much of the design as you can starting at the inner, going outward to avoid tearing. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, we have to try it. So besides this one, there's another one in here and I gotta see what it looks like. This is a 69 Armor Wingtip number one. Okay, oh wow. You can literally add like little 
Is it like liners, you think? What, how do you, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just gonna peel one off, Zach. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, with these nails? Cause you know if you have to peel off a top layer, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Whoa. Okay, obviously I would use black makeup and like connect it, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's like a layer that you have to peel off. Oh my God, I see it. I think it's like clear. This is when you call Lipstick Nick to help you. One second. Okay, sorry, the indica was hitting. You don't have to peel off anything else. You literally just stick it on and it's like ready to go. I really wanna like, okay, we're trying one over here. We have to, I have no brows, this is perfect. And I know that it says clean skin and I have so much foundation, powder and concealer on, but it's all good. Okay, so let me try to do this without ripping it because this is tricky, like what? Whoa, okay, having long nails is a little bit of an annoyance, but, and I never say that, this is a little difficult to get off, but once you get it going, you get the hang of it. Nothing teared or ripped. Oh my God, it's sticky. Okay, you really kind of get one shot to place it and then it's like over, so <laughs> let me try this. Whoa, okay. Okay, I get it now. I probably could have done it lower, so there wasn't like this gap here, but you can obviously take eyeshadow and definitely buff and blend it up. Even that liquid shadow, bitch, like where is she at? If you hear that, it has a little ball in there, so it really gets the pearls going. I definitely could have put it on lower. I don't love the placement, but you guys see, obviously, the vision. Oh, I like the side angle, though. It looks really cool. Okay. Wow. I think I'm just gonna do the bottom one on the side just for fun, just to give it a try. We obviously see that that instant eyeliner worked over here. This gap here, I have no eyebrows. So if you have a brow, this will definitely look different <laughs> on you. But okay, let's do this last one. And then in a perfect world, you would take this and be able to shift it a little higher. Whoa, how does it look? Lacy? <laughs> What do you think, Zach? I actually like it. Whoa, that was cool. Like, it's like instant, like, bam. It's definitely taking a second to stick up here, I think because I have so much makeup on, but actually it stuck to my foundation really nicely, and whoa, should I get this tattooed? Okay, I have tried every single house laboratory's product, and now it's time for my final thoughts. Now, let me start off by saying I think my favorite product from the entire launch might be the liquid eyeshadows. I really can't get over the formula. I'm looking here in this mirror over here. Hi, mirror. And I'm like, like the formula just looks really, really nice. So shout out to you guys for this amazing formula. Gaga, you really did that. Now, let's move on to the lips. Now listen, a lip liner, a gloss, was it mind blowing? No. Did it work? Absolutely. For the price point, I think it's pretty good. Is there a million glosses on the market? Yes, of course there is. But I thought that this one is good. It's consistent. You guys have seen, I've been wearing it the entire video. I had a little food off camera. I drank a Red Bull and it's really there. Like it didn't come off. It doesn't feel weird. It isn't sticky, it isn't on my teeth. So overall, formula on point lip liner, you guys come on. Now by now, there are a million lip liners on the market. You guys know that. I thought that this one was really good. It was consistent, it was creamy, it went on nice. So if you wanna try out something new, of course, give it a whirl. But if you already have a lip liner, girl, you already have a lip liner at home. Um, I think the combo of the liner and glosses were really good. I didn't know what to expect. I really need lip sticks. I think they're probably coming soon. Um, I can imagine. But overall, the formulas of everything here is really good. Now, packaging, you guys know I was not obsessed with the packaging. I think it's a little mediocre. I wanted a little bit more weird, a little bit more like punk couture, high fashion. So obviously there is a lot of growing room for this brand. Will they launch eyeshadow palettes? Will Gaga launch mascara? Will there be foundation, concealer, lipsticks, high pigmented glosses? I mean, there is a lot of growing room for this brand. So I cannot wait to see what they come out with next. As far as the eyeliner, it was really good. Like I can't complain. Even the, the stickers, if you're like someone on the go or you hate doing eyeliner, these are perfect to just slap on. I really wanna do some like design, do something cool here, like a little shark's tooth. But if you're a little more simple, pop one on, bam. Now over here, 
I like weird stuff. Definitely giving me like Pat McGrath vibes. It's high fashion. We're on the runway. I feel like I'm in like a Alexander McQueen show right now. Um, and I love it. These are really good. Okay, now you guys are all wondering what are the final, final thoughts and you may be shocked, you may not, but every single product here, the formula worked. So regardless of how you're feeling about the price or the packaging, every formula was good, it's on point, and I didn't really expect anything less from Gaga. She has been in this industry a very long time. She has probably worn every single brand on her face and knows the tea about formulas. So um, everything here works. So without, oh, without further ado, the House Laboratories by Lady Gaga is Jeffree Star approved. Yes. Listen, I had a lot of fun playing with this product. I really didn't know what was gonna happen, what to expect. There are so many celebrity makeup lines coming out and dropping. So I definitely think that there is a lot more to show. So Gaga, it's time to bring the heat. I wanna see a little bit more funky packaging, maybe a little bit more crazy unit cartons. But besides that, the makeup, I feel pretty, I feel really good. And this is, a, this is a lot of fun, you guys. So as always, be brutally honest, sound off below. What do you love on my face? What did you not like? What do you think about the formulas and the overall brand of the Gaga line? Sound off below and I will see you on the next review. <laughs> Bye guys.